off to the Norwich Vigil. Trust me, yeah? Right now. Um, never been to one before. A little bit nervous. Um, it's not going to be very nice seeing the animals go into slaughter, but I think afterwards we're going to be going into the actual uh, shopping centre and talking to people. That'd be quite interesting um, to get people's opinions and uh, really, uh, I mean, obviously I've talked to people about it before, but like to talk to the general public in a shopping centre, that'd be a new experience for me. So I've never been to one before, so this will be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to having the experience of going to a vigil. On time, nice little journey actually getting here. And I can hear the cattle markets behind me. I can hear the poor cows and the pigs screaming and mooing and yeah, so just waiting for the, the vegans to turn up and I'll go and meet them. home really enjoyed the vigil really enjoyed the vigil um, it was amazing to talk to people about the veganism, veganism and it was really positive I found it a really positive experience there were a, a, there was a lot of interest um, and once you start speaking to people you can see they really disapprove of the, the cruelty that goes into eating animal products <clears throat> but it's just making that step to actually doing something, you know. And uh, it's funny because watching the, I actually held the the laptops. You had the mask on, and you can see people approaching, um, and they're looking at they're looking like that, and you know you can see the disbelief on their face. But it's the kids. The kids have really got really switched on because they haven't got the conditioning that um, <clears throat> you know, like the younger kids. I mean, like. Not the teenage, but the younger kids, I'd say from whatever, four to, to eight or nine. And you can see them approaching and they're looking and they're, they're like disbelief. It's like, oh my God. It's uh, really interesting um, to see the reactions. But it's a great day. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's something that I want to do in the future. A lot more of. Because um, to be honest, I'm not very good at. I'm not really a social kind of a person, but if I've got a task, I can talk. I can talk the the back legs off a donkey. Pardon the pun, sorry, donkeys. But um, yeah, if I've got a task to do, if I've got uh, an objective, I can really enjoy talking to people. I really enjoy it. But the, if it comes to like social things, I'm a little bit um, small talk. I'm not very good at small talk, but. If I've got a task, I'm really good at talking. I can really um, put my pins across to people, and hopefully they uh, they can benefit out of it. Um, really interesting people I spoke to. One person, young fella, actually, he worked in Bernard Matthews Turkey uh, processing plant, and he said he can he'd never eat turkeys. You know, and I, and I just said, well, you know, why don't you, you've stopped eating turkeys, why don't you kind of consider being a vegan and not just not eat turkeys, but not eat the whole range of animals, you know, because it's the same for every animal, it's the same for cows, fish, p 
pigs, chickens, turkeys, all, all animals really, all, all animals. So instead of just picking on one and, and quitting that because of your experience, you know, put put it to all the animals. You know, you don't we don't need to have animal products or proteins or in 2017. I mean, we're not cavemen. You know, it's it's ridiculous what we're doing now. We should be going forward. You know, this this should be this should have been put to bed years ago. All this eating animals and that. But um, really interesting. There was a few vegans there actually, a few vegetarians, a few vegans that already knew what what, was, um, what happens in the slaughterhouses, but which was good. So you didn't really need to educate. They already knew. They already knew. So it's like, well, okay, I'll move on to the next person. You know, speak to spoke to teenagers, uh, a lot of teens. And you know you can see you can see the cog. The amazing thing is when you're speaking to them, you can see the cogs in the brain taking it all in. It's amazing. It's amazing. Really satisfying. Um, you can actually see them, like they've got all these things. You know, oh yeah, but this and that, and they think they've you know won the argument. And then when you actually um, tell them how it really is, um, then they're kind of like, wow, you know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Amazing. Amazing. And of course, you get the you get the people that say, "Oh, I like bacon," and they're, they're laughing. You get people that laugh, and but it's just the way it is, isn't it? Not everyone's going to be interested. It's just the people that are interested are the ones you got to, you know, communicate with. Because the I think the others, you got to want to do it. You got to want to do it. You got to have some kind of an interest in it. And it was just great, great experience. I didn't. Re I met obviously met. A few of the vegans, but we didn't really have time to talk because it was kind of working. I mean, my goal was just to speak to as many people. I was just, I just wanted to speak to as many people as possible. I was just, that one's gone. Who's, who's interested? I'd go up to anybody, anybody. You know. So I didn't really speak to the other guys, but hopefully in the future, you know, I'll have more time. To, we'll have more time to to speak to them. But it'd be good if they could come to Colchester as well. Um, because cultures, I think it'd be good. It'd be good. I think they'd have some interest. You got to be open-minded. You got people got to be open-minded though with it. But all in all, amazing day. Really enjoyed it, and we'll definitely be doing it in the near future. Bye for now.